New developments now on the arrest of a suspect in the deadly shooting at Ocala's Paddock Mall over the holidays. Albert Shell was taken into police headquarters and booked into jail earlier this morning. News 6 was there when they took him in. And that arrest follows a manhunt that's gone on since right before Christmas when that shooting left a man dead and a woman hurt and many people traumatized at that mall. News 6's Mark Lehman was at the press conference and has the latest on the charges Shell is facing. Only New Six was there as Albert Shell Jr. was escorted to the Ocala Police Department overnight. Those remarks coming after police say they tracked down the 39-year-old with help from U.S. Marshals and Marion County deputies. Where was the suspect found and what led you to his location? So uh, I, I can tell you he was located in a house about 20 miles southwest of Ocala. Uh, really a, an area called the Florida Highlands. Uh, Chief Mike Balkin says the tips poured in after the reward for Shell's capture was raised to $20,000 on Friday. Was that beneficial in capturing the suspect and will someone receive that reward? I, I am confident that reward will be paid out. Uh, we are still sorting through a, a ton of these tips and leads. That reward, however, uh, will in fact be paid out. Yes. The arrest capping a more than two week manhunt. According to police, Shell opened fire inside the Paddock Mall December 23rd. Investigators say he killed 40 year old David Barron in a targeted attack and injured a woman. I, no reason to believe that this was anything other than a, a beef between two individuals that was you know, resolved in a mall with a gun. After a few hours of questioning, we were here as Shell was taken to a secured area just on the other side of this fence and booked into the Marion County Jail. Police say he already had a couple of outstanding warrants. Now he faces charges of murder and attempted murder. His criminal history alone uh, tells me that he should never have been on the street uh, to, to have been able to commit this crime. And we're going to see to it that he serves the rest of his life behind bars. As Shell is now set to face a judge on murder charges, officials say the arrest is a relief for a city traumatized by the violence. We are a resilient community, but we will not stand for acts of violence like this. In Ocala, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.